Hello there. I've got your girl here and I want to just show you some of the things that she knows. She's so amazing. I adore this puppy and uh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you girl. Oh, she's kind of tired. She's kind of curling up a little bit, but we'll see if I can uh, get her back in, in the mode and we'll do a little bit of, uh, just show you some of the things that she knows. She's really great. I love this dog. Uh, first thing I want to show you is a leave it. So a leave it cue means I'm going to put this food right in front of her face and I'm going to invite her to get really interested in it. And then when I ask for leave it, I want her to pull back a little bit and make it clear that she's disengaging from what it is that uh, she's interested in. Okay, come on. Yeah. Oh, really? So we have all these treats here. And her job is gonna be, I'm gonna put them right up by her nose, and her job is to kind of pull away. Oh, yes, oh, leave it. Yes, good girl. Okay, yeah, you can see. Oh, leave it. Oh, good girl, you're amazing. Yeah, you are. You're the most amazing, okay. All right, let me move this back up so you can see better. Do, 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 do. All right, my sweet friend, come on. Sit. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Sit. Good. Down. Yes. Very nice. Hey, girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Good. Clear it out. Cool. Point. Stay. For a down and she just automatically does that she has that beautiful um, basically a default sit but you can also use I use this little cupping gesture uh, that comes from the old way of sort of holding that treat over their head when you're teaching a sit but anyway this is a sit you could say the word sit or you could just stand and basically look at her because in the in the absence of any information she tends to just go into a nice sit uh, then the next part is the down the cue for the down is just a little downward gesture with your finger, one finger, two fingers, she responds to all of that. Um, and then also she has a lovely stay. The stay is gonna be that traffic cop signal. Um, let's see, and I also wanna show you the space cue, which we use when she's, it's basically to address jumping up. This is harder for her, and that's something we've been working through a lot, but I'll show you what that looks like. Essentially what that means is when you ask for space, Sorry, baby. When you ask for space, you're gonna kind of pop your body up and uh, that's gonna let her know through your body language also that you don't want her to be any closer. But when you ask for space, that should mean she gives you a little bit of room and often she'll pop into a sit, but more I'm looking for a little bit of distance and keeping all four feet on the ground. That's the beauty of the, uh, the uh, space and also being able to toggle between being super excited that she's seeing you, but also going into a quiet sit going back into that, putting your feet on the ground, okay? All right, so I'll show you what that looks like. Are you ready? Are you ready, my friend? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my, oh my. Space. Yes, very nice. Ready? stay is free um, so just keep that in mind um, let's see so I'll show you some other things when we get together tomorrow but uh, 
She's just kind of amazing. I adore this dog. Yeah, see, I'm the best baby. She's very tired. She's gonna definitely sleep a lot when she gets home with you. So don't let that um, surprise you at all. It's very common because they play so much and so much goes on here that uh, is a lot of stimulation. So when she gets home and it's peaceful, she'll just sleep, sleep, sleep like a baby and it'll, it'll feel real good to her. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys uh, have a wonderful evening and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, it's a little bit uh, snowy. If you get stuck, if anything strange happens, she can always stay here an extra night. So don't ever let that concern you at all. Um, she's welcome to stay as long as, as long as I can have her. All right, have a good one. I'll see you later, bye. Koi, come. Hey, good girl. Koi, come. Oh, good girl. With me. Okay, so when we're walking, what I'm looking for is this looseness in the leash. Good girl. And I'm also, you can see where my leg is. This way. When she is near my leg, I'm going to want to treat her a lot in that position because that makes that area just generally reinforcing around me. Yes. Good girl. And then pretty soon you don't treat as much. But in the beginning, you sure do. Because you want to make it super fun to be by your leg. Like, that's the best place, huh? That's the best. That's the best. Yeah. So I tend to carry a little bag. And I'm just treating her pretty often as we walk. Because as you know, there's so much, good girl, for puppies to be interested in as they're out in the world. And you just, the more you feed them by your leg. Here you go. The more we have, like there's a car coming by, the more they meet all these new strange occurrences. Yes, that was a car. And they eat food and they just experience the world with all this, all this, oh sorry, all this great fun and food. All that makes for just the outside world being a fun place to be. So I'm just going to let her sniff and have some free time to figure out where she's at. Yes! And then when it's time to go, good girl, very nice. You can see with that little sit, she's like, okay, I don't know what we're doing next. So in the absence of any information, she just offers that real nice sit. But we're gonna see, yeah, with me. So with me is the signal that we're taking off. Yes, good girl, very nice. Let's go out this way. I know it's water. That was water. I tend to walk around in the street for right now because, you know, there's this illness going around. So that told me this is the place to be. Keep them on the street. Okay, there's another car coming by. So I'm going to pull over and feed her. Yeah, good girl. Cars are good news. There's things moving. Yes. Oh, that's a delivery. That's a delivery, and there's cars barking. There's dogs barking. Good girl. So you can see, when you see the body language, you see that tail up, and you see that little bit of tension against the leash. That's her being a little upset, yeah, kind of uptight, a little upset, wondering, oh, what's going on? Things are changing. But I'm just going to let her watch that go by. I went that car. Watch that go by. Listen to the dog bark. Let her just kind of take it all in. Because genuinely, all this stuff is new for a puppy. Yes! And then when she's told me she's ready to go again, as she just did, with me, then we'll head on, head on down the road again. Good girl! Yeah, you're kind of amazing! With me. Yep. Good girl. Oop. That's my girl! That's my girl! Anyway, she's amazing on leash. She's really, really great. Um... She is a pleasure. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. But we'll do more of that together. Just kind of wanted to give you a little, little update on the walking situation. Because you're kind of amazing, aren't you? Yes, I sure am. That I am.